Today, I wanted to talk to you all about the IC subtypes. Okay, so in 2015, Dr. Christopher Payne came out with five different theorized subtypes for patients with IC. He saw different um, common denominators between his patients, so he came out with these five subtypes, which I will take you through now. So the first subtype is Hunter's lesions, and these are seen in about 10% of IC patients, and these are visible lesions that can be seen um, under a cystoscopy looking at the bladder wall. Hunter's lesions require local lesion-directed therapy like lasering or steroid injections or fulguration, and they don't typically respond to oral medications or installations. The second subtype is called bladder wall phenotype. People that fall into this subtype may have had a UTI or chemotherapy or some type of chemical exposure that caused their symptoms. In the subtype, there is pain usually upon filling that gets relieved after emptying the bladder. Patients in this subtype typically respond well to lidocaine being instilled into the bladder. And treatment priority focuses on calming and soothing the bladder wall. The third subtype is called myofascial pain phenotype. People in this subtype typically have a history of a sports injury, an orthopedic injury, or a childbirth type trauma. People in this subtype typically have pelvic floor dysfunction and may have a variety of different trigger points in their pelvis and surrounding areas. Bladder installations typically aren't helpful for this subtype and treatment priority is pelvic floor physical therapy. The fourth subtype is called the neuralgia phenotype. People who fall into this subtype may have pelvic floor dysfunction or an issue with their pudendal nerve. This can cause severe burning or electrical-like pain when sitting or a pins and needles type of sensation. Treatment includes pelvic floor physical therapy, stretching, and analgesics for neuropathic pain. The last subtype is chronic overlapping pain disorders and central sensitization. Patients in this subtype typically have other pain disorders such as vulvodynia, fibromyalgia, and irritable bowel syndrome. People in this subtype may experience extremely sensitive skin, a strong sense of smell, drug sensitivity, diet sensitivity, etc. Invasive treatment methods typically don't work for this group and can actually make things worse, and treatment priorities should focus on calming the nervous system. A really important thing for people in this subtype is just managing stress and anxiety. These are Payne's five subtypes, and you should use these to help guide your treatment.